Hello everyone, uh, this video is about the new functionality of the SPATIX platform, about uh, use of rasters in SPATIX. The new SPATIX release has tools to attach, detach and manage georeferenced or non-georeferenced raster data. These tools are included in the WMS toolbox. When you click this button, the Raster Reference Manager dialog opens. And uh, now I will show you how to load, unload and uh, manipulate rasters and SPATIX. For clarity, firstly, I will read classified point cloud. Turn on only high vegetation and building classes. And now I am ready to attach raster. To attach raster, use this button, attach raster reference, and uh, choose file to be loaded. Uh, actually, it's uh, the through order water for this area. Uh, if your raster has georeferencing, either internal like uh, GeoT for uh, ECW or external like world file, uh, it will be placed automatically according to its defined position. Such raster is marked as uh, geocoded in the list. Uh, and there is an uh, important note. Uh, if the CRS coordinate system of the SPX file is uh, defined and activated and the uh, raster file also has defined projection, this file will be automatically reprojected to the target SPX file coordinate system during uh, attachment. And now I will attach another georeferenced raster. It's a OSM map for the same area. You can see that both rasters are visible now. Uh, actually, attached rasters are placed as a special elements in the SPX file. So you can apply some uh, standard SPATIX tools to rasters, for example, move, copy, delete, and uh, so on. Also, any uh, loaded raster belongs uh, to one of the layers of the SPX file. By default, uh, when attached, uh, raster is placed on uh, the active layer and you can change it anytime. For example, I want uh, to see Orta in the view 1 and OSM map in the view 2. At first, I will change layers for my rasters. For example, I set layer 1 for Orta and layer 2 or OSM map. Then I activate layer manager and turn off layer 2 in the view 1 and turn off layer 1 in the view 2. Now I can copy view area from view 1 to view 2 and I can see the result. To unload, remove raster from the SPX file, just select items to be detached in the list use choose selected raster reference button 
then use uh, standard spapix delete element tool and uh, click anywhere in the working view to accept uh, my next raster file doesn't have georeferencing it's just a draft of the rail uh, when you attach such file it's uh, placed in some default position close to 0, 0 xy coordinates and uh, marked as unplaced in the list uh, to see my raster to find my raster i select uh, item on the list use fit to view button and click inside the view anytime uh, you can define position of raster manually by uh, using this tool and specifying uh, top left and bottom right corners now you can see that uh, placement status has changed to manual finally i will show the way how to fit my raster to real size probably to digitize draft you see that uh, size of this element on the raster has uh, the dimension 146 millimeters uh, so uh, firstly, I will create a horizontal line of this length in the target position. I set some uh, active attributes. Activate lock to X axis and place line. Check fixed land of the line and enter the real uh, land. Uh, then I need to create uh, the baseline on the raster as a source. I set some another active attributes. Check off fixed length and place a line here from this point to this point. Uh, select both raster and uh, source baseline using choose element tool and move elements to the target position. I use move and I use vertex snap for precise operations and uh, the last step is to scale raster to its real size I select scale element tool stretch mode turn on scale synchronization then I uh, define scale origin point scale reference point and target point now I can delete my lines and check if the dimension is correct measure distance from this point to this point and I can see that the distance is 146 millimeters so uh, that's uh, all I hope this video will help you to start using rasters in Spatix.